Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Anno 1800. Because I get so many questions regarding Anno 1800 mods and modding, I decided to create this small tutorial for you so that you can enjoy all these beautiful modifications yourself. Mods are allowed by Ubisoft. There is actually a sub forum on the official forum for that. So don't be afraid of losing your game or something like that. They can greatly increase the variety and difficulty of the game as for example add new buildings, new production chains and even new AIs. Your whole city can look completely different, like my city of the modded extreme playthrough where we can see skyscrapers and even new monuments like the town hall building just behind the World's Fair monument. Alright, got a few minutes, let's start. At the moment there are a bit more than 100 mods available and you can actually install them all and play within a few minutes of work. It is absolutely vital to know that you should never, and I repeat never, use a save game with newly installed mods as you can break your file forever. So always create a second save file of your game and test your mods in that before you move over to the real game. Modding in Android 1800 is easier than for example in Skyrim as once the game has loaded there are no crashes anymore. There are also no script errors or load orders problems, you just install the mods you like and are ready to go. So let's get into the installation process of N800 mods. First of all, you do need two web pages for that. Both of them have been linked in the video description. The first page you probably already know, and that is Nexus Mods. Now, Nexus Mods, you'll find all the Anno 1800 mods. There are, as I said, already around 100 mods available right now. And once you're on Nexus Mods, Anno 1800 slash Anno 1800, you'll find all the mods that are for the game ordered in the most popular way, so with the highest downloads then going to the lowest one and the probably most important one and probably most popular one and that we're also using for the installation process here is the spice it up mod compilation so that is a compilation of several mods available and as you can see there are then other different mods here the project distinction which is for example for the skyscrapers or the town hall monument now once you've decided what mod you want, you click on it, for example the Spice It Up mod, you get a whole page of instruction menus and here you have the files and in the files you can download the Spice It Up mod itself. Manual download and that's it. The second page that you'll need that is also in the video description is GitHub. On GitHub you find from Xforce the NO1800 mod loader. As well, there is the URL and then you're on this page here and there you can see all the different versions of the mod loader that have been published so far with the newest and latest version up here at the top. So this is the latest release and then you click on the loader.zip on that. If one of these versions is not working, it is always advised to go backwards. So these mod loaders are sometimes backward compatible. So if I had, for example, crashes on 0.7.10, then I tried the 0.7.9 and sometimes it actually worked. Next, you want to open two windows on your PC and the first one is your download folder. Here we have now the Windows zip archive that we just downloaded from Nexus Mod, so the Spice It Up compilation. This is looking the same for every mod. And on the other side, we have a window now open with the Anno1800 main directory. So that is usually in your program files, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, Games and Anno1800. And then you're in the main folder of Anno. And in here, you need to create a folder called mods. I already have it here. And if it's not there, well then just install it or just create it, mods. Right click it, new and folder. And if you do that, you get into the mods. And then you're in the folder, which is probably empty in your computer, but on my computer, of course, there are lots of mods already installed. Next up, what we need to do is we are going to extract the Spice It Up mod compilation. So it's best advice to do all of that in a separate folder so that you don't mess up anything, right? In that case, now, as we can see, all the mods are being unloaded here. So that in that case, it's a mod compilation. So we have lots of different mods. And you just, the ones that you want, you can then just move them over there. That is working the same with every mod. So you just now take the folder here, for example, like Harbor Life, and you just pull it over there and it's being installed then, right? In that case here, I already have Harbor Life installed. So in this case, it will not work. But in your case, you can just move it over. And every mod in Android 1800 is just a folder like this one here. Here we just have a lot lots of mods installed already. Now, what we need to understand here is that there is also a minus in front of the mods. You can do that here as well. And if you do that, you deactivate that mod. So if I put now a minus in front of the gameplay gas heater, then this mod here is now deactivated. It is no longer working in Anno 1800. 
right? So you can always activate and deactivate mods like that. For example, to try and find an error or something like that. Otherwise, the gameplay here, for example, doesn't state anything. It's just for pure readability. It doesn't matter how the folder is called. Whatever folder is in here and it hasn't a minus in front of it, it's just going to work in the game itself. The second step that we still need to do is install the mod loader. Without that, the mods won't be loaded into the game. And for that, we now open the zip archive that we just downloaded from GitHub, which is the loader zip file. We open that and in here we can see two DLL files. Two DLL files, Python 35 UB and Python 35.dll. We need both of them. Python 35 DLL is the mod loader and the UB DLL is the backup. So if the first one doesn't work anymore or is corrupted, we can always use the backup DLL here as well. And with this, we need to go to the folder in the Android 800 main directory. So let's get out of the mods folder that we already just had opened. Let's get back up and let's get into the Android 800 main file again. And here we find the folder bin. Let's get into bin win64. And in here, we want to move now these two DLL files. We just move them in here like that. And that's it. If there is a message overwrite, then overwrite. And now the loader is in the, in the game. And that's it. We have now finished the mod processing. Now, when everything is working to plan, you will see in your Anno main page, in your main menu, down here, the message modding detected. And when that is the case, well then, all your mods have been detected and have also been installed in the game successfully. And that means those mods are now activated. So whenever this one here is disappeared from your menu, then the modding isn't working anymore. Now you can create a new game or load one of your backup save games and try out these mods and kick Miss Hunt's butt. I hope I've helped you there. Wish you all the best in the game. If you have any more questions regarding N800 and modding, just visit me on my Discord server. 